Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So today I wanted to share my honest first impressions on Stellar Blade. And initially I want to say that I'm having a blast with this game, seriously. It's far better than I have anticipated. Now unfortunately there are some gripes that I have got that you know are within this game for some odd reason that developers chose to, to go with or at least maybe there's some shortcomings that maybe they were not even necessarily expecting or perhaps they were low on time or budget or whatnot i don't think that might be the issue in terms of the budget because it feels like this game is a triple a standards but there are things that are kind of um uh, well, a double-A games that you would also see, not necessarily that you should expect from triple-A titles. Okay, I will get into all of that. I want to get into the positive, the negatives as well. Uh, but I want to say that while I'm playing through this game, I already played around 12 plus hours to so give or take. And again, my thoughts may change by the time I will release my full proper review for this game. I'm also kind of planning and thinking about if I should also make yet another review specifically for the Platinum Trophy bucket because yes, I will be going for the Platinum Trophy on this game because I'm genuinely enjoying it that much. But first, I think that I actually will end up even going further and getting 100%. Yes, this means that I will have to replay this game again, even in the new Game Plus mode. So uh, always more trophies is always a good thing, at least for this title, especially that when you like it, you want to play it and you want to get that platinum trophy this means perhaps something relating to this game that is genuinely doing good for you meaning that you actually like the title and stellar blade you know how first initially when it was like <laughs> made its appearance should i say well we can clearly state that like eve herself the main character character Basically, she's a very, very gorgeous girl, seriously. Like, I mean, you're looking up her skirts and stuff, her very revealing outfits, and, you know, it's nothing new there, right? Like, a lot of titles, especially in mobile category games, they are, tend to kind of being a little bit too, well, aggressive, if you know what I'm talking about, but being overly sexual or stuff like that. Even in this case, yes, you can clearly see that the way she's dressed and the way that she has her outfits and the way you can actually do sort of customizability in that. Well, you can go crazy in terms of her looking like a true model and to the point a little bit too revealing for a model. Now, in my opinion, this is genuine my opinion. I do not mind that. I find Eve completely, completely attractive and I really like her. But there are some bad within this part as well, relating to the story and how Eve is herself. I don't really particularly like Eve's personality. I think she kind of lacks it. She's very stoic, very kind of, well, military-esque, if that makes sense. But I think it's understandable as well when her due to her circumstances and everything that she's going being going through and also in the environment that she was raised in so it kind of makes sense but nevertheless i still felt that i didn't really resonate with me in terms of her personality now that's just the one negative thing that i thought relating to eve but the positive i want to say this the combat my goodness eve looks awesome and the combat is incredible within this game seriously I love the way that it's just never really gets old. And especially when you can unlock new skills and variations of the fighting uh, that you can do, like, you know, uh, pressing the specific buttons and layouts and you know, timings and stuff like that. It really is like a genuine fun that you can actually discover within this game that perhaps you didn't even expect. And I genuinely did not expect. Now, honestly, and honestly, I was thinking this game would have been a lot more simplistic because I, well, to be honest with you, I wanted the game to be a little bit more simplistic comparing to a lot of titles out there that tend to be way too complicated for apparent reasons for, as an example, like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, like it has so many buttons of variations in combat that you can do utilizing with your characters of your, uh, you know, friendlies, right, your friends that you can utilize specific moves. There's so many variations that you have to keep up and you have to pay attention. In Stellar Blade is easier since all you will have to do is basically, well, more or less mash one button and you're gonna get through just fine, If of course, if you're playing it on easier difficulty. But of course, you won't be able to get far if you keep just keep doing that. And eventually, you will learn. And so there's not much of that, 
like a necessity to master the controls or telling you, okay, you have to know how to play this game right there, right then, within uh, t 20 minutes. And I'm thankful for that. So I think actually it's a little bit more friendlier approach. And that's definitely a plus for me at least. I love the way there's so many different boss varieties. Like there's genuinely are a looker, they look grotesque, and but they're varied and there are many. And talking about the bosses, just enemies in general, they look really good. Now, honestly, a lot of characters here in like within this world, they're all weird. <laughs> not to say that it's a bad thing, because like women, most of the times when they're not like trying to hide and when they're like stand out right there in specific moments, maybe during the cutscenes or maybe during the quests, they usually, well, they're models basically. And anytime when you're interacting with Eve while maybe having a conversation with Kaya, and you know, I'm not gonna get into specific people as well due to the spoilers. Basically, they are gorgeous, gorgeous women out here. And of course, <laughs> angels are so say, right? Basically, codenamed angels, right? You playing as a stellar blade, you playing as Eve, the character, and she's also referred as an angel. And all the angels basically within this world are gorgeous. Right, base. It's just it's it's great time to be a part of this world while playing as Eve. I want to say, and I think I like it. I think I like the way this actually goes about. You know, Eve in terms of her looks and the outfits, and a lot of people I have heard about this controversy as well. People had some concerns relating how this game will go about uh, because of Eve's clothing very kind of this game tends to be on a revealing side like again I'm getting back into sexuality within this game and why they kind of gone with this more model-esque approach for the main character and I want to say that none of that is really is shown here right Eve isn't trying to look sexy maybe like standing like a model or trying to pose in specific moments there's none of this here and in fact I would say it's the opposite I would say Eve doesn't even try to do that. And in fact, I don't think she even clearly understands it due to, well, to my understanding while I was listening to her conversations with particular characters. And when they intend to go in that kind of direction, Eve is like, will you stop doing this? Like, you know, she's obviously she's more of a, a robot, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Again, Eve is a human being, but yet uh, there's still some things that are just like you know, the decision that they've made here. It's kind of odd. Not not to say it's a bad thing, but still, I like it. I like the way this game's approach is. But of course, because of this, like I mentioned, Eve is a little bit too stoic for my kind of a uh, taste, and she's a little bit she just does just doesn't have much of her personal uh, personality, unfortunately. Now, relating to the narrative, I'm not gonna comment on this yet because I want to finish the game. Then I can actually tell you how the narrative goes about. But so far, it's there. It kind of sort of grips me, but I don't yet know what to make out of this, at least not at the moment. Now, I'm not sure if I have already mentioned in the beginning with commentary or not, but if not, I'm just going to mention a little bit here. I wanted to mention that this game is a AAA game, right? But there are quite a lot of elements, unfortunately, that are, are AA standards as well. AA game. Like, it's not to say that's a bad thing, necessarily, but I can definitely see that Stellar Blade had uh, had to cut some corners for it to be released in this sort of state and i think that kind of is a little bit of a detriment like for example when you go into this world of scion right it's, it's not really a spoiler since it was already mentioned even in trailers this is the world like a public hub where you can interact with the many different npcs and characters within this place right it's a safe haven basically safe place and so that's fine and all. But the thing is, all the NPCs are more of the same as usual. They stand on one spot, you have a conversation with particular NPCs, there will be a certain cutscene. And perhaps maybe some other NPCs, you don't have any sort of a cutscene. Eve just stands there, an NPC stands on the other side, and you have a distance kind of, kind of conversation. And there's always like, anytime you want to come back to a certain NPC, they tend to repeat their lines. You see, there were cut, they, unfortunately there was some things were cut. Now, relating to not a bad thing, I'm not sure if it's, I'm gonna put this like in the middle, right? I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but I don't think it's also a very good thing. Puzzles. So they are a little bit finicky. And to say that they're bad, I don't think they're bad. They work, but they're not exactly great either. So I'm not sure how I feel about them. And the thing is, 
there's some great elements within puzzles that you have to actually pay attention. Puzzles, uh, you know, for example, also the encounters and like platforming and specifically I'm talking about. So there's some things that needs to be polished out. But again, it's way too late for that. The game needed to have a lot more polish in terms of Eve's movement, especially when you try to reach a specific platform. And then you just like, even if you have no double jump, if you just like have a double jump, it doesn't matter because you can overshot it or Eve for some odd reason can just walk out on her own as if she has her mind of her, of her own and me not controlling her at all and she just walks out and falls to her doom. It, it tend to happen quite often and it really annoyed me and I started to notice it more and more unfortunately. Now I don't think there's anything else that I can mention relating to this game. Like, I'm having a good time. This genuinely is a very good game. I can definitely see why this game got such high scores and so much praise. And I'm very glad the way it did. And I really am hopeful, and just I really hope that uh, Shift Up, the developers of Stellar Blade, will make a sequel for this game. At least so far that I have played. But nevertheless, there's still time, there's still time for me to finish this game fully. Like I said, maybe my thoughts will change, may change, who knows. But nevertheless, after experiencing thus far of Stellar Blade, I want to say that I genuinely am having a great time. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.